everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to discuss about a very very important concept and it is very important for both ap and uh, ts exams and uh, nowadays uh, you know that what is the demand on power and how to produce the power all these uh, we are getting from this solution that is a nuclear reactor how many uses are there if the people are doing mistakes with this we have to face the problem due to the radiations first of all we are thinking about what is the nuclear reactor see nuclear reactor is one of the device to produce the energy nuclear energy that we can convert and we can use it as a electrical energy so it is giving many solutions uh, to overcome the power problems power mostly we are using for power productions but suppose these are constructing at uh, any places people are opposing this one why they are opposing that after this answer explanation i am giving to you this is very important and expected for um, almost 99.9% expected for uh, final exams see what is the principle of nuclear reactor it is based on the controlled chain reaction when we are by hearting what is the controlled chain reaction we won't get the idea so controlled chain controlled chain reaction chain reaction means the geometrical progression of the neutrons is called the chain reaction when slowly moving neutron is bombarded with the uranium 92 235 slow moving neutron not all neutrons n01 then what happens it gives three neutrons then these three neutrons are participating into the bombarding with the three more uranium then these are neutrons are nine neutrons are releasing like that geometrical progression of the neutrons is called the chain reaction but we are using which chain reaction in this what is the principle of this one see principle of nuclear reactor is the controlled chain reaction controlled chain reaction controlled chain reaction means average only one neutron is participating into the chain reaction see each neutron reaction and each fission process we are getting the 200 million electron volts energy so when three are participating means it is increased three times we can't bear that also control chain reaction means look here three neutrons are releasing two are escaping are absorbing by some material only one is participating into the chain reaction see here one is participating three are releasing and three neutrons three neutrons only one is participating into the chain reaction so that is called the control chain reaction that is the principle of nuclear reactor now what are the parts of this one what are the parts of this nuclear reactor first one is without fuel we can't run the show like that without fuel we can't discuss about the nuclear reactor what is what we are using material like uh, you know like say they take some rice and that non we can't use so what are the what are the u fuels mostly we are using heavy atoms like uranium thorium uranium 235 uranium 238 we are using these are heavy atoms those are we can use as a fuel see uranium 92 235 uranium 238 and thorium also we can use as a fuel see where we are placing this fuel look here these are the aluminum cylinders we are enclosing into the aluminum cylinders these are the fuel now second part is the moderators our moderator what is the role of this moderator clearly just now i say i am given that slowly moving neutron is participating into the nuclear fusion process but whenever the neutron is bombarding with the uranium it is giving the fast moving neutrons so that fast moving neutrons energy is absorbed by some material those are called the moderators so what is the role of this uh, this one fast moving neutrons becomes to slow down that is the role of the moderator mostly we are using heavy water we can use as a coolant sorry we can use as a moderator in future we are getting coolant also i am giving that then where are the moderators look here these are the moderators what is the role of this one fast moving neutrons becomes to slow down when these energy is absorbed by the moderators then our third part is 
control rods control rods what are the control rods in that only meaning is the cadmium or boron rods we are using as a control rods suppose suddenly we want to stop this one how to stop this one what is the main thing to participate uh, to conduct this experiment slowly moving neutrons see these control rods are absorbing the neutrons whenever these are absorbing the neutrons what happens there is no meaning for chain reaction and we can stop this experiment now we are days ukraine and russia war is going on there they are saying uh, russia people are occupying nuclear plants and that one so why we are um, like worrying about it nuclear reactors no very useful at the same time more dangerous whenever anything small mistake happens it leaves the alpha beta radiation it is giving it is uh, uh, affecting global warming and the person who are nearer to that one genetic problems cancers like that you know hiroshima nagasaki they are so still they are suffering because of this radiation so no nuclear plants we have to deal proper way anyway how to stop this experiment we are using the control rods see these are the control rods these are the control rods what is the role of this one these are absorbing the neutrons and we can able to control that one and we can able to stop the uh, fission process then our fourth one is the coolant for what purpose we are conducting this experiment it is giving the nuclear energy you know that each fissionable process it is giving 200 million electron volts of energy what we are doing the nuclear energy we are using as a what electrical energy so in that process look here this energy is taken by the coolant so here we are using the coolant coolant is nothing but heavy water we are using the water water becomes to steam then steam can able to turn the turbines that mechanical energy is converting into electrical energy so with the help of the water we can produce the current means this is the role just we are converting energy from one form to the another form so what is the role of this coolant first of all we are using water used as a coolant it is converting what nuclear energy to the electrical energy so this is the fourth part then fifth part is very very important don't do this experiment taking some fuel moderators in that one the entire instruments we are placing into the shielding shielding is nothing but 10 meters of concrete wall or lead wall we are closing these moderators fuel coolant coolant even every thing we are placing into the shielding shielding is shielding is 10 meters of concrete wall or lead wall how to work you know that whenever slow moving neutrons are bombarding with the uranium then it is giving the fast moving neutrons that fast moving neutrons becomes to slow down because of the moderators suppose we want to stop this one how to control this one we are using the control rods how much energy is releasing it is taken by the water water becomes to steam steam can able to turn the turbines then nuclear energy to electrical energy we can convert with the help of the nuclear reactor so from this diagram we can easily understand and one more diagram you can see in the during the exam you can follow either this diagram or this diagram look it it's very small but we can't understand by drawing you can go through this this is the coolant reflector control rods these are the control rods and inside core part this is the core part and steam and water so this is about the nuclear reactor it's very very important i can't mention that 100% but it is a damn sure question for final exams both ap and ts board exams telangana model paper recent paper along with nuclear reactor they have given one combination problems for two marks look here when i am writing it's looking big but it is very simple problem look here the question is calculate energy released by fission from 2 grams of uranium 92235 and the given data is energy per fission is the 200 million electron volts the question is we should express the answer in terms of kilowatt hour you know that kilowatt hour is the unit for the energy look number of atoms in 2 grams is how much 2 into avogadro number by mass number 235 then energy released 
each uh, fission energy release in how much 200 million electron volts so we are multiplying with 200 million electron volts then energy equals to same thing no change 200 also it said the thing is million electron volts 1 million equals to 10 to the power of 6 then uh, electron volts means 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 90 generally this is we are getting in joules but the question is we can express in terms of the kilowatt hour that's why we are dividing with kilo how much 10 to the power of 3 hour how many seconds 60 into 60 minutes into 60 seconds finally your answer is the kilowatt hour so this is the energy released in this process our final answer is 4.55 into 10 to the power of 4 kilowatt hour so this is the energy this is the combination problem not only that one don't uh, afraid about that uh, problems if you want to look, look down also sometimes they are giving that find the energy e equals to mc square e equals to mc square so if you want to express that million electron volts we are multiplying with 931.5 million electron volts so these are the combination problems thank you everyone please subscribe my channel and few more long answers already i have given in our uh, playlist that is like um, stationary wave open pipe closed pipe and uh, this is our fourth long answer i have given even you are reading these four long answers also you can able to attempt the two long answers in telangana board exams thank you please subscribe my channel if anybody requests please share with this one thank you